drop of my blue blood. It doesn't get any better than this. What the hell are you doing, Johnny? Why are you taking orders from Gary? Shut up, Jimmy! You left us and everything went down the toilet! I beat you once, I'll beat you again. Now, Russell Man! You nerd! What were you thinking? You fool! You don't see it! Gary's got a plan! A great plan! You idiot! Gary's plans are a load of crap! I should know! You don't get it! My brains and his lack of morals, nothing can stop us! Whatever! I'm gonna stop you both! No, Russell Smash! One day you I give up.
bunch of bitches? That was incredibly satisfying! Edgar, go help everyone calm down. I've got some business with Gary. Understood. Good luck. <laughs> you, what is that in your hand? Weapons are for prefects only. No! Get off my little body! Slow down so Russell can smash you! Aw, oh, come on. Your attention, please! Jimmy is complete human trash! Gary, you little bitch! Come out! James, I've been waiting. Let the games begin! Gary! Moron! Why'd you do it, Gary? Why not? I won! I tricked everyone! Starting with you, the head, the loser kids in town, and the prefects! Me! I won! You are sad, man! I might be sad, but I won your world, moron! And don't you forget it! You did all my dirty work for me, Hopkins! You're like a puppet! Only dumber! Whatever! Let's finish this! something for ya. If you prove to be one thing this year, it's slow. You'll never catch me, Hopkins. You're too trusting, Jimmy. From the start, you were pathetically naive. Poor little Jimmy. All alone and big, scary Bullworth. Under fire from Russell and his goons, desperate for help. So sad, so hopeless, just needing a friend, any friend. You were so easy to manipulate, Jimmy. We were friends. It was all so clear. You had your lust for power, but without intelligence to back it up, using you as a pawn was so wonderfully obvious. Let Jimmy have his fun. Let him play his childish little games with Ernest, Ted, Darby, Johnny, and Edgar, and just wait for the right moment to swoop in and take it all. up dominoes. It all felt together so perfectly. You were off wasting your time with whores like Lola. I was in the dorm planning.
while you were racing bikes, while you were playing the carnival like a child, my plan was coming together. The thing is, if I win, you're just another punk. You win, and you'll be sent away even quicker for beating up the head boy! Why'd you do it, Gary? Because I can! Because making little people like you and the morons who run this place eat out of the palm of my hand feels great! But I never did anything to you! You would have if I'd given you the chance! Face it, I'm smarter than you! Oh, congratulations! <laughs> You're smarter than me! You hate everyone, and everyone hates you! Genius! The head likes me! I tied him up, turned his dumb school into a battleground, got kids expelled, unfairly, put several others into therapy, and he still likes me! You're such a loser! <laughs> well, at least my mom doesn't make her living on her back! You're dead! <laughs> I can take you, Hopkins! You should have seen that coming! The thing is... I can take you, Hopkins! Any regrets, Jimmy? Back the hell up! After you're expelled from- Lay off! Smith! I heard the whole thing! You're expelled! Come and untie me, boy! Yes, sir! <sighs> Sorry, didn't see you there. You know, I think I may have judged you too unfairly, boy. Yes, a little rough around the edges, but you're a diamond, boy. A diamond. Thank you, sir. Now take out the trash, would you, Hopkins? My pleasure. So it was you who took on this monstrous little wretch, was it? Yep. <laughs> what a hero. A lone wolf. Uh-huh. Well, no. To be honest, sir, I did have a lot of help from some friends. Like this girl, Zoe. She got expelled because she complained about Mr. Burton hitting on her. Burton? Well, he's fired. I hope he rots in hell. And a guy named Peter Kowalski, good friend of mine. Never heard of him. Yeah, well, he keeps quiet. He's kind of shy. Shy? The boy must be a genius. Why, well, he should be head of the school. Pete? Great idea. Now, about that letter to my mother. What letter? Finally, everything is sorted out, more or less. I mean, I don't want to say we're going to live happily ever after or anything like that, but life is certainly going to get easier. Mm -hmm.